Hi everyone, in this video for the custom shaped volumes package, we'll have a look at creating your own uh, volume with your own logic. And we'll do this um, just by uh, looking at the examples that are already there and going through that. So if you go to the custom volumes, you'll see BP duplicate me, which is what you would want to duplicate if you want to create your own volume. So we'll call this BPC example. And when you open that, you find your three main events when your player enters a volume for when your player leaves a volume and the event fade range update this fades from uh, alpha zero to one and that is dependent on your fade range on a volume so let's say let's take i think this is a post process no it's not a post process this is not the post process either this is so if you visualize fade it's in the floor right now just drag it up you can see this is where it's so so here it's zero and at the edge it's one so that's the the visualized fade and you can set up logic for that um yeah a good example would be the post process uh, volume or the audio volume let's check out audio actually so you can just add some logic are we inside the volume yeah i bas i want to keep track of that apparently so i added that there um, if the fade range equals zero, so if there's no update, we need to make sure that sounds created, volume multiplier set, and audio is played. And if I do use the fade range, then we, there's a bunch of checks. Are we already in the volume? Um, then do this once, you know, are we not in the volume yet? Does it equal zero, the, the fade alpha? Then do something specific. We, in that case, we can stop it. And all these... Uh, you can check out all these example uh, blueprints to get an idea of what you can do with it. But basically, these are all the events you'll really need. And then we can uh, go into the class defaults. So here we go. Now the visualization and editor performance is more for the editor. Actor tick is disabled by a fault. We don't need the tick, we don't use the tick. So we don't ha need to have it enabled. And then we have setup fade range. We'll use we'll do in the level. You could set a default value here. So with the audio, for example, I know that it really needs to be a volume. So I enabled height, and I enabled a fade range because I want audio to fade in, and I always want that to be the case. So you could set some default values in here. Uh, spline. That's that's also covered in the other video for placing them in your level. Layer also not really important. So. Then we have colors for priority. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you maybe you want shades of green for your volume. You could change that here. <laughs> um, check rate. Uh, that's how often it checks. It's uh, basically one of the you know lower equals fewer checks. And the fastest check interval is at when it's checking at a, uh, the at the fastest way possible. What is the update rate? What is the how many times a second? Does it check so that really depends on the volume that you're making like in the audio volume it's um, 0 0.05 which is pretty fast and but in the town names for example i only check once every two seconds because for the town name it doesn't really matter right i just place the volume a little bit outside the front gate and then maybe if the two seconds just pass and i just walk through the front gate it pops up then instead of right immediately when i enter the volume it doesn't really matter so the check interval can just be really slow. It can help with performance, but if you need something to check fast, you need a lot of frames uh, a second dedicated to updating that value, you can put this lower. And then, uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Next, um, we have the project settings, which is covered in another video and should be set in your um, in the BP spline volume, the core. And so that's shared across everyone. And then we come to the tracking area let me close off the other ones so here's a few sec uh, settings basically every blueprint um, that's based off the spline volume creates its own tracker so not every instance but every blueprint so if i have 10 different audio blueprints they all share one tracker the one for dedicated to audio now in the example, I created two post-process examples. So you can see here, post-process example, post-process folk example, which you can find in this folder. So there's two, but they do the same thing. So I don't want, um, I don't want 
the fog and normal post process to use different trackers to see what volume I'm in. So in that case, if you have multiple blue child's blueprints, so you, you created multiple things that basically do the same thing, you can enable use custom volume tracker. You set that to true. And then you need to give that a name. And in both of those actors, the name, oh, sorry, the name needs to be the same. So if we check out post process, we see custom volume tracker true. If we check out BP post process volume uh, with fog, you can also see uh, same thing. Use custom volume tracker true, same name. <laughs> sorry. Uh, and then in the audio, that uses the bottom one, which is track individually so yeah this does what it says this does basically no there's no tracker because all these audio um, areas are checking individually just because i am in a building with certain audio doesn't mean i don't want other audio um, ignored you know i could have a, a volume for fire and a river next to each other and they should both still play so you can create a new audio volume, which does in fact uh, use as a volume tracker just by turning off track individually. But the one I created for ambient volume, just make sure that uh, it, it basically works alone. It ignores all the other volumes and uh, actors out there. It's just him against the rest. So that's the settings you would kind of have need to know uh, for when you're creating your own um, uh, volume, custom shape volume with its own logic. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. I hope this was useful to you. I hope you now know where to get started with this. Um, please leave a like, subscribe. I always have to exit with that. If you got the package and you're enjoying it, if you could leave a five-star review, that would mean the world to me. And make sure to join the Discord. That's it for the self-promotion. Thank you so much for watching. Best of luck with your products.